Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to be covering the box method of division. And this is a different way of doing long division. The process is going to be very similar to the traditional method, but the benefit of the box method is organization. This method can help with staying organized throughout the whole process, and it's going to help keep all of the columns lined up. Now this specific video is going to be three digit numbers divided by one digit numbers. So let's jump into number one where we have 426 divided by three. So 426, this is our dividend. It's the number being divided or split up and we are dividing by three, which is our divisor. So we start the box method by drawing out a rectangle here. Now this rectangle is going to be split into three sections, okay, for uh, each of the digits for 426. So three sections here, and we're going to put a digit in each one of those sections. So the four, the two, and the six. So 426. Now the more you do of these, your spacing will get better. You'll improve with the spacing and how you line things up. So the three, our divisor, goes on the outside. So now we're set up 426 divided by three using the box method. We now go through our steps, which are at the top of your screen. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring up, repeat. So these are almost the same exact steps as traditional long division, except we have bring up instead of bring down. So let's start with divide, and we divide four by three. So this four divided by three. How many whole groups of three can we pull out of that four? Well, one. Now we multiply. One times three is three. Subtract, four minus three is one. Now we bring that one up. So we have 12. So we repeat the process now with that 12. So 12 divided by three. How many whole groups of three out of 12? Well, four. Multiply, four times three is 12. Subtract, 12 minus 12 is zero. So we bring up our zero. So we have a six over there. So six divided by three, how many whole groups of three out of six? Well, two. Two times three is six subtract and we get zero. So we do not have a remainder that worked out uh, perfectly there and we get 142. Now a common mistake would be thinking this down here is the answer. You always look up top for the answer. So 142. So on to number two here, which uh, this one is going to have a remainder. So let's draw our box or rectangle to start off here. And we have three digit dividend, so we need three sections here. 759 and our divisor of eight. So we're set up and ready to go through the process. So the first step, divide. Um, how many whole groups of eight can we pull out of seven? Well, we can't do that. So we need a zero here. Zero times eight is zero. Subtract seven minus zero is seven. Now we bring up that seven and we have 75. So 75 divided by eight. Well, we can pull nine whole eights out of 75. That gets us to 72. So let's put a nine here. Nine times eight, 72. Subtract 75 minus 72 is three. Bring our three up here. So we have 39 now. So 39 divided by eight. So how many whole groups of eight out of 39? Well, eight times four is 32, and we know eight times five is 40. So five is a little too many, so it's going to be four. Four times eight is 32. Subtract 39 minus 32 is seven. So this right here, this seven is our remainder. So our answer is 94 remainder 7. 
So there you have it. There's how you use the box method in order to solve a division problem. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.